Assalamualaikum. My name is Saba, and I'm a student. I would, ask, uh, would like to ask you a question, Zakir Bhai. A man will have hoor, that is beautiful maidens, when he go, uh, when he enters paradise. What will a um, woman get when she enters paradise? The sister has posed the question <coughs> that when a man enters paradise, he will get hoor, that is a beautiful maiden. What will the woman get? when she enters paradise. <clears throat> the Quran has mentioned the word Hur in no less than four different places. <clears throat> it's mentioned in Surah Dukhan, chapter number 44, verse number 54. It's mentioned in Surah Tur, chapter number 52, verse number 20. It's mentioned in Surah Rahman, chapter number 55, verse number 72, as well as in Surah Waqiyah. Chapter number 46, verse number 22. And many of the translations, especially the Urdu translations, have translated the word Hur as beautiful maiden. If the word Hur means a beautiful maiden, it means a beautiful maiden, then what will the woman get in paradise? Actually, the word Hur is a plural for Ahwar, which is applicable to the man, and Hawar, which is applicable to the woman. And it signifies the characteristic of Hawar, which means big, white, beautiful eye, and describes specially the whiteness of the eye. The similar thing is mentioned as Azwaj al-Mutahirin, Many places in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 25, and Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 57, it says, Azwajun Mutaharatun, which means companions, pairs. So the word Hur is rightly translated by Muhammad Asad as spouse and also by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Abdullah Yusuf Ali as companions. So Hur actually means a companion or a spouse. It has no gender. For the man, he will get a good lady with big beautiful eyes, and for a woman, she will get a good man with big beautiful eyes. I hope that answers the question. The brother on my right hand side, please. Asalaamu Alaikum. Sultan Kazi, I am in service. Uh, I would like to pose a certain question to Dr. Zakir Naik. For evidence given, to, to prove evidence, why are there two female witnesses against one male witness? The brother asked a very important question <coughs> that why are two women witness equal to one witness in Islam? Two women witnesses are not equal to one woman witness. Two women witnesses are not equal to one man's witnesses in all the cases. Only in certain cases, there are at least five verses in the Quran which speak <coughs> about the witnesses without specifying male or female. In one place, there is an indication in which two women witnesses is equal to one witness of man and that's in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 282, which happens to be the longest verse of the Quran. It says that when you involve in financial transaction in which future obligations are there reduce them in writing and take two witnesses among the men if you can't sorry if you can't find two men witnesses take one man and two women so that if one of them gets confused the other will remind her this verse of the Quran for Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 22 only deals with financial aspects. Only in financial aspects it is said that take two men as witnesses, preferable. Only if you can't find two men as witnesses, take one man and two women. Let me give you an example for a better understanding. Suppose a person wants to undergo a surgery. He wants to undergo an operation. But natural, 
He would prefer taking the advice of two qualified surgeons. If he cannot find two qualified surgeons, he would take the advice of one qualified surgeon at least backed with two normal general practitioners who have got a normal MBBS degree. Because a surgeon is more qualified in the field of surgery as compared to a plain MBBS doctor. In the same fashion, since the responsibility of the financial aspects has been laid on the shoulders of the man in Islam, he is more well versed in finance as compared to the woman. That's why the best option for witnesses in financial transactions is two men. If you can't find two men, then one woman, sorry, one man and two women. Again, if you read in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 106, it says that when anyone writes a will of inheritance, take two men as witnesses. Again, dealing with financial transaction, men are preferred. Some of the jurists say that even while giving witnesses, in cases of murder, the feminine nature may obstruct her and she may get scared in cases of murder. That's why even in cases of murders, two women witnesses are equal to one witness of man. Only under these two conditions, the finance and cases of murder, are two women witnesses equal to one. Some of the scholars say no. Islam says, one place in Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 282, that two women equal to one man, therefore, under all circumstances, two women is always equal to one man. Let's analyze. As, as I said, let's analyze the Quran as a whole. If you read the Quran in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 6, it states that if any of you put a charge against your spouse, and if they have no evidence, if they have no evidence, their solitary evidence is sufficient. Means if a husband wants to put a charge against the wife, or the wife has to put a charge against the husband, if they have got no witnesses, their solitary evidence is sufficient. This verse clearly indicates that one woman witness is equal to one witness of man. There are several cases which the jurist agree that even in cases of sighting of moon, one woman witness is sufficient. Some jurists say that in the beginning of Ramzan, one witness is required. At the end of Ramzan, two witnesses are required. It does not make a difference whether they are man or woman. There are certain cases in which man's witness cannot be accepted. Only woman's witness is accepted. All are waiting for the answer, I believe. Suppose you want to give a witness for the burial bath of a woman. After a woman dies, the witness for a burial bath can only be given by a woman. And only in extreme cases, when you can't find women, then can the husband give the witness. So here, the woman witness is preferable. Hope that clarifies the doubt, brother. Uh, one, uh, those who are interested in writing question on the slips, you may kindly raise your hands so that we have assistants standing around. They could come and help you out with the slip of paper or a pen or whatever is required. So that, uh, and it can be passed on down the sides of the stage to me. So we can carry on as a secondary preference later on. Uh, may we have the next question from the sister on the...